<laughs> Yo, what's going on there, YouTube? Welcome back to your Saturday vlog series. This is the second Saturday vlog <laughs> for you guys in the new content role. Let me know how it's going down in the comments below. I appreciate it. I feel this plus keeping things organized and daily has been doing wonders. At least for making it feel like I am being active every single day. <laughs> I wanna take a minute to have a short conversation with you about the coronavirus. So I just did a podcast episode, it was technically supposed to be last week's episode, but I ended up doing it and releasing it on Monday <laughs> for this week. And what I wanna stress are some of the important points that I make in that episode. Do check it out, it's called King Corona. It's episode 45 of the Angry Runner Show, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Spotify. I will link to all of that stuff in the description. <laughs> I want to point out a few key factors. Social distancing and making sure to wash your hands and sanitize every time you leave the house and get to a new place. <laughs> if you're in a, if if you're at home, it's it's one thing. It's one thing if you're at home Sanitize your house two or three times a day, sorry, two or three times a week and wash your hands after every time you use the washroom and, you know, at home and stuff, it's safe to like touch your face if you feel you have to, unless somebody in your house is sick. But other than that, when you're out in public, try to limit touching your face, try to wear gloves when you're walking around places, like just leather gloves. I'm not talking about like having to wear, you know, the latex gloves. But wearing some sort of hand protection, I have a pair of leather gloves that I wear now that are my public coronavirus gloves. And I wipe that those with sanitary wipes every single time I come inside a place. Or if I'm just going somewhere and coming back to the house, I wait till I get home. But like if I'm going from here to work, for example, because again, I'm a social service worker and a frontline worker, so unfortunately... I cannot do my job remotely. So that means that I have to go into work. <laughs> and they appreciate that we are still coming in. At the same time, I appreciate that I don't have to go on EI because I can still work, make my money, but be there for my clients who may at the same time be also kind of in a different weird headspace because of all this. <laughs> so... From the angry ranter to everybody out there, please be safe. I know things are not looking uh, amazing right now in the world. But, and I'm clear, I'm not recording this on a Saturday, obviously. So I don't want to talk specific figures because I have no idea, come the time you're watching this video yet, what the situation in the world will look like. I know China's almost done with their coronavirus epidemic. South Korea is almost done with their, their coronavirus. But it's shifting now to Europe and North America. I know this week here in Ottawa, a um, state of emergency has finally been declared in Ontario, and almost every public gathering thing has been shut down. The only things that remain open are grocery stores, pharmacies, restaurants that offer takeaway or delivery. So like McDonald's ain't hurting. <laughs> but then also... A lot of people are being either told not to work until the 31st of March to give everybody two weeks away from each other. I'm 90% sure when I go to work Friday, you know, into this the day you're watching this video, there's probably going to be nobody on the bus, you know. Uh, they're now doing backdoor boarding only on most, uh, most uh, transit because they want to keep you away from the drivers who do have to get people to where they need to be. And unfortunately, because I don't drive, it's going to be interesting. You know, I know uh, I have a few places that I have to be work-related this week, including an interview for a full-time job that is in the future for me, but in the past for you guys watching this. Uh, so I'm just going to say to keep everybody safe, do your best to stay inside if you have nowhere you need to go. If you need to, need to, need to be somewhere, then it's fine. <laughs> but if you have nowhere in particular you need to go, do your best to stay inside. 
Maybe limit yourself to one trip outside per day. That's what I've been doing. I went to the corner store yesterday. I went to the grocery store today. And tomorrow I'm hitting the dollar store. You know, I'm limiting myself to one trip per day as to limit the spread or the chance that it comes in contact with me. And then I spread it and don't get to neutralize it before I've had a chance to. Wash your hands constantly, 20 seconds. And then don't be afraid to sanitize if you can. I got a little pack of Sandy here. My parents gave me a little pack of Sandy. And I've got also, you know, wipes, you know? Like, yeah, they're cotton now, but they work. <laughs> also, don't hoard, okay? Hoarding does no good for the mass spread just because you're panicking. And I talk about this a lot in the podcast episode. Just because you're afraid and you're panicking right now does not mean that what you're doing is going to do any good when you have 50 bottles of Lysol wipes. When you have 100 rolls of toilet paper. When you have all the hand sanitizer in your area, like that guy in Tennessee did. <laughs> the more you leave for everybody else, the more there's a chance that we can stop this together. Because it's not just about your safety. Us doing this helps keep the people who are immunosuppressed or immunocompromised safe. It helps keep uh, the elderly safe and the youngest among us. All three of those categories who are hella at risk for this. So from the Angry Ranner, I just want to say to you guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and look after yourselves. Self-isolate if you feel you have symptoms. <laughs> Call your medical uh, professional after a day or two of monitoring your own symptoms. Because it could just be a cold. Uh, it also could be the fact that it's still technically winter until basically the day you're watching this video. <laughs> and even then, early spring weather doesn't quite change the situation. Make sure you get plenty of rest. And if you can work from home, do it. Two weeks seems like a very long time. It's like the world stops for two weeks, especially since we're a world that's constantly going and going and going and getting faster. We actually need to stop and slow down. Otherwise, the world will just come to a dead stop. So I'm saying from me here, take care of yourselves. Check all the social media down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the Sunday video. Peace out, guys, and stay safe.